Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there were two brothers who ruled over the seasons of the year. The elder brother was known as the Oak King, while the younger was known as the Holly King. Born to the mother goddess of nature, both were powerful and wise, and together they kept the balance of the natural world. The Oak King was a proud and noble ruler who was loved by all for his generosity and kindness. He was the master of the spring and summer months when the world was filled with new growth and vitality. Under his reign, the sun shone bright and warm and the flowers bloomed in abundance. The Holly King, on the other hand, was a darker and more mysterious figure. He was the master of the autumn and winter months when the world grew cold and dark. He was a fearsome and powerful ruler feared by many for his wild and unpredictable nature. Despite their differences, the Oak King and the Holly King were bound together in a delicate balance, each complementing the other in their own way. And so the years went by with the two brothers ruling over the changing of the seasons in peace and harmony. But one year, as the days grew shorter and the world began to grow cold, a great battle erupted between the Oak King and the Holly King. The battle was fierce and epic, with the two brothers calling upon the power of nature itself to aid them in their struggle. As the days grew colder and the darkness began to take hold, it seemed that the Holly King was gaining the upper hand. His power was strong and his magic dark and mysterious. But the Oak King was not one to be defeated easily and he fought on with all his strength. In the end, after many long and difficult battles, the Holly King emerged victorious. The world was plunged into the darkness of winter and the Oak King was banished to the underworld. Even in his defeat, the Oak King remained a symbol of hope and renewal, promising to return in the spring and reclaim his throne. And so the years went by, with the Holly King ruling over the land in darkness and cold, while the people waited patiently for the return of the Oak King. And when at last the first signs of spring appeared, the people knew that their beloved ruler was coming back, and they rejoiced in the knowledge that the eternal cycle of life, death and rebirth would continue on forevermore.